Today we're going to show you the basics on how to fillet, clean, and prepare round fish. Today we're going to be working on a red snapper, but the same technique can be applied to small mullet or mackerel, to big groupers, for example. You will probably choose to use different sized knives or tools, but the process is relatively the same. Scaling, cleaning, filleting, deboning, removing the skin, and different types of portioning. These are all things that we'll be working on today. So let's begin. We're going to start by removing the dorsal fin. This isn't necessary for all fish, but for snappers, the dorsal fin can be quite sharp. So with the dorsal fin out of the way, we're going to focus on removing the scales. There are a couple of ways to do this. You can use your knife, turn it upside down, and scrape on an angle. Or you can use a scaler. Run either the knife or the scaler against the scales and they should just pop right out. And the best place to do this is in the sink. So we've removed all the scales from the fish. Be careful not to miss the spine or the belly as that can complicate things later. So now we're going to clean the inside of the fish. So we're going to start from the anal fin and we're going to cut all the way up to the head. I'm going to try not to pierce any of the innards. I'm just going to take this to the sink, pull them all out, rinse, and now we're going to remove the head. On most fish, there's a plate right behind the dorsal fin. And we're just going to find it and make a line all the way up to the top of the head. And that's really where the meat begins. Repeat on the other side. And the head should just pop right off. Twist upwards, it comes right off. It is possible to fillet the fish with the head still on, but I find it gets in the way. So now we're just going to clean up the cavity where the innards used to be. And if you look below the spine there, there will be some blood clots. So you want to take your knife, run it along the bottom, and wash them out. It's okay to have a little bit of blood, but it tends to have a, a strong fishy taste. So the more that you can remove, the better. When the fish is clean, we'll start removing the fillets. So we're gonna find where the bone meets the flesh and insert the knife about half a centimeter or about an eighth of an inch. So at this stage, we just wanna break the skin, find where the bone is, and we'll use this as a guide to remove the rest of the fillet off the fish. So we're gonna continue cutting. We want long, continuous pulls rather than slicing. Run the knife along the bone and use your other hand to remove the fillet from the fish. So for the first fillet, I'm going to show you one technique. I actually prefer this technique because there's a lot less waste, in my opinion. So we're going to keep lifting the fillet off the bones until we get to the rib cage near the front. So right about here. The next way I'm going to show you is how to just cut over the rib cage, but there is a bit of waste. So for this, we're gonna take some scissors or poultry shears, and we're going to cut the rib cage off the spine of the fish. So this is by far the easiest method, a lot less waste. The whole filet just comes right off like that. So now we're gonna take our knife and cut up, and we're just separating the flesh from the rib cage now we're going to turn our knife around and follow the rib cage all the way to the bottom. Again, try using long, smooth cuts rather than back and forth sawing motions. So the rib cage comes right off like that and you're left with a nice big fish fillet. And you can also clean it up like this. Just cleaning up all the angles of the fish. This isn't necessary, but it's more aesthetically pleasing for most people. So now we're going to remove the pin bones. So you're gonna get your tweezers, use one hand to pluck the bones out, and use the other hand to keep the fish firmly on the cutting board. The bones are pointed towards the front of the filet, and the best way is to find the bone, pull it back a little bit so that it's more 90 degrees, and then pluck the bone. If you miss a bone, no worries. You can go back and find it and pluck it out. But if you break the bone in half, for example, you should remember where it is and then go in and find the rest of it. So you should always check by running your finger along this line here and also check the front of the fillet because there's often extra bones that you might have missed. So we're just gonna clean this up 
And there we are. Perfect filet. We can cook this up right now. Okay, so we're going to work on the other side of the fish. So same as before, we're going to make a small cut, breaking through the skin. We're going to find where the bone is. And then we're just going to run the knife along the bones, separating the filet from the bones. So this time I'm going to show you how to use your knife to cut over the rib cage rather than using scissors to cut through it. Some cooks prefer this technique because it's much faster. You don't need to switch tools. You just keep working. But it is easier to make a mistake. There's often a bit more waste. So if you have the time, the first method I find is always better. So just like before, but we're arriving at the rib cage now, we're just going to ease the filet off the rib cage. So at this point, I'm about halfway, and now I've put the filet back over top, and I'm just going to press the knife down on the rib cage, cutting all the way through. Again, no sawing motions. We're doing nice, long, smooth cuts. And there we are. So we've cut around the rib cage. It's still attached to the fish. And now we're going to remove the pin bones like before. And now we're going to clean up the edges. So coming up, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of portioning your fillets and also how to remove the skin. Or you can simply just keep your filet with the skin on, whole like this, perfect for pan frying. So now I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to portion. So depending on what you're cooking, you'll need different size portions, but I find on average, a portion about this big, which would be about 90, 100 grams, as you go down the fillet, it gets thinner, so keep that in mind if you want the same weight. So I'm going to show you how to score now. Keep your portion firmly on the cutting board. Insert your knife a couple of millimeters or less than an eighth of an inch deep. Try and keep them as neat as possible. It's about this deep. This will prevent the skin from buckling up when it shrinks during cooking. It will also help the piece of fish cook faster and more evenly. So now I'm going to show you a different way of portioning with the other filet. So this is known as a royale cut. So we're cutting along where the spine and the bloodline used to be. And we'll get two pieces. The bottom piece will be a bit smaller. I'm going to take a little bit of extra meat away here. All of this red still has a lot of blood trapped inside the meat, and it can be quite fishy. So we'll discard that. Now, if you want to remove the skin on your fish, Ease your knife in where the tail used to be, just enough to get a good grip on the skin, and then pull the skin away from the fish, rather than slicing it away. And there you are. Now if you'd like to see recipes on how to cook the fish, please check out my other videos on this channel. Also, if you enjoyed that video and you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking!